Now let's get over here and I'll show you what my bulk ammo storage looks like. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Pilot Patriot channel. Today we're going to be talking about ammo storage, specifically long-term ammo storage. We're going to talk about some things you need to consider if you are storing ammo long term, some right ways and wrong ways to do it, and then we're going to take a look at the way that I store my ammo. But if you haven't done it yet guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Alright, now first off, let's talk about the way most of you guys probably store your ammo. And that's going to be in the box that it came in. Now, there's nothing necessarily wrong with this. For example, this Freedom Munitions ammo comes in a cardboard box with a plastic insert that your ammo sits in. And there's really nothing wrong with that. I do store some of my ammo this way. Uh, most of the time it's stuff like this. This is 380 hollow points. Um, I also have some Federal Gold Medal 308 ammo. That's usually stuff that I don't stack up a lot of. And I'm usually only buying one or two boxes at a time of that ammo. So I do just keep it in its original box, stacked up on a shelf, and organized the best way I can. But if most of you guys are like me, you like to stock up a lot of ammo for long-term storage, either just for shooting in the future, or if you're like me and you just like to keep a nice stock of ammo just in case for emergencies or anything like that. Most of the time we're talking about bulk ammo storage. So usually if you're going to bulk ammo storage, you're looking at something like these examples I have here. Probably one of your most popular is just going to be your standard steel military style ammo can, whether it be 50 cal ammo cans or 30 cal ammo cans. I usually don't go any bigger than the 50 cal cans just because they get heavy and cumbersome and it's hard to move around. It kind of defeats the purpose of having this nice portable package that you can transport bulk ammo in if you need to. Uh, these are great. Obviously they are built to military spec for the specific purpose of long-term ammo storage and they're definitely going to be your toughest most rugged options. If you're concerned about being able to just toss this in the back of the truck or if you're concerned about harsh conditions and things like that this is definitely the option you want to go with but they lock up nice and tight as you can see it usually takes some effort to get into those these are usually going to be watertight they have a nice rubber gasket around that lid that locks in tight when you close that lid down and something like this 50 cal can is going to hold a lot of ammo whether you decide to just throw it in there loose or actually stack it with boxes right now i just have a bunch of uh, loose boxes in here these are some other calibers that I don't shoot often, something that I don't stock up a large quantity of. So you'll find stuff like that in here, this 357 Magnum. And that's just what I happen to have in this can. So these steel ammo cans are uh, a great option, possibly the best option. They're certainly gonna be the most rugged. The next thing we're gonna talk about is actually keeping your ammo in magazines. So something like 556, most likely you're going to be shooting that out of an AR-15 and you're going to have to load magazines eventually. So why not go ahead and store your ammo in the magazines, fully loaded magazines. Now, I know there's some controversy about loading your magazines all the way up. In my opinion, there is absolutely nothing wrong with storing your magazines fully loaded. You're not going to damage the magazine. You're not going to weaken that spring. Um, but I do tend to load my magazines with just 29 rounds instead of 30 because I find that it seats easier into the mag wheel. But in my opinion, there is no reason to have a ton of magazines sitting around unloaded. If you're going to have magazines, you might as well load them up and store them that way just in case you ever need to grab them quickly and use them. You are ready to go. You don't have to fumble around worrying about loading your magazines up. Now, along those same lines, I like to go with something like this MTM ammo crate. It's roughly the same size as a 50 cal ammo can. Obviously, this is plastic, but it is a nice rugged plastic. You can see it's got two latches on the lid, so it locks up nice and tight. It is also going to have that rubber gasket the same way that military can does. This is exactly how I'm going to store that. I can fit 15 fully loaded mags 
into this box. So if I ever needed to grab something and just bug out and go, I got 450 rounds preloaded into magazines just sitting here in an easily portable ammo can. Now let me show you how I store most of my ammo. And that's gonna be in these Plano ammo cans. I like these things a lot. They're nice and portable, but I've been storing my ammo in these cans for years. And primarily the reason I started out storing it in these cans is because of cost. You can usually pick these up for around four to seven dollars, whereas your metal ammo cans are gonna be somewhere between 10 and 15 dollars. And the metal ones can be a little bit harder to find, but I also really like the features of these things. I love the size of it. I love that it's stackable. I like that it has a spot where you can put a padlock on here if you wanted to. And it has a nice latch that really cinches down that lid. You're also still gonna have your rubber gasket in the lid that seals out moisture and things like that. Now, most of the time, the way I'm gonna store my ammo in these is just loose like that right there. Whenever I pick up some new ammo, I just dump the boxes into the can just like this. Now you're gonna be able to store a lot more ammo like this than you would if you were trying to stack boxes in there. For example, you can fit roughly a thousand rounds of nine millimeter in a can like this and somewhere around 500 to 600 rounds of 5.56. And that's gonna be the two calibers I stock up most of is nine millimeter and 5.56. I do have some other calibers in these, these types of ammo cans, but the majority of my bulk storage is gonna be in those two calibers. Regardless of which type of can you put it in, I do like to add one or two desiccant packets into the can before I seal it up. Now you wanna make sure you store your desiccant packets in an airtight container so they don't go bad. You just open it up, grab a couple, and then close it right back up. And that's gonna help keep any moisture from damaging your cartridges in your ammo can. Now let's get over here and I'll show you what my bulk ammo storage looks like. All right guys, now this is what my bulk ammo storage looks like. And the way I have this organized, everything on the top here is cans that aren't quite full yet. So these are the cans I would grab to take with me to the range. The cans on the bottom down here are different. These are specifically long-term storage. All right guys, this is what you can expect from a can that I have stored for long term. You can see that I do label these. On the front here, I'm just gonna label it with the caliber and the grain. I do the same thing here on the side. And up on top, I'll also put the caliber. And since this is a full can that I don't plan on opening it up often, I do put the quantity of ammo that I have in the can right here on the top. You can also see that once I fill up a can, I do put a zip tie on there. That's just a little reminder to help me remember that this is for long-term storage. I don't need to be dipping into this just to go to the range or something like that. Uh, this is ammo that I plan on storing up for emergencies and things like that. You can see that these are easily stackable and I do have a variety. I have some metal ammo cans. I also have some stored in just its original box. But as you can see, the bulk of my storage is gonna be in those Plano ammo cans. So let's talk a little bit about how to and not to store your ammo. We've talked a little bit about the types of cases you can put it in, but we need to also think about the conditions. Ammo is best stored in a cool, dry place. You don't want to sit it out in extreme temperatures. You also wanna make sure it's not exposed to excessive moisture or anything like that that can corrode that ammo. Uh, that's one problem with keeping it in just its original box because there's no seal that locks out air and moisture and things like that. Let me just give you an example of what happens if you don't store your ammo properly. These are some shotgun shells from my last duck hunting trip a few months ago. And I actually left these sitting out still in the ammo holder on my waders. So uh, this is definitely an extreme example, guys. These are actually directly exposed to water. These were probably fully submerged in the water as I was walking through the swamps and stuff. And you can see that that brass is very corroded, a lot of corrosion there around the primer, which is gonna be your main issue. Now, because I do a lot of duck hunting and I'm used to this, most likely these are going to shoot again. I can probably clean them up with a wire brush and they'll be fine. But this is not something you wanna see, guys. This is definitely the wrong way to store your ammo. 
All right, guys, now I'm going to put links in the description below to all of these different types of cans that I use. And just remember, guys, the main thing is to keep that ammo stored in a cool, dry place, ideally in some type of sealed container that's going to protect it. I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or if you want to talk about the way you store your ammo or what I'm doing wrong or anything like that, that's fine. Just leave it in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay prepared.